So I came to Reno from Portland, Oregon, where I was born and raised and had the opportunity to, uh, to leave Portland for a little while for school down in Eugene, Oregon, and then came back to Portland to really start my career in education and informal science learning, and that's where I've been for the bulk of my life until I was invited to come to the Discovery Museum. So I've spent most of my career in informal science learning. I had the great opportunity of working in the classroom early in my career and then quickly moved uh, into working at the Oregon Museum of Science and Industry where I worked for 17 years. Well at OMSI I started as a science educator and then moved up through the ranks to a program coordinator and department head and then eventually a vice presidency role where I went back to school and got a master's in public administration and a certificate in nonprofit management. And then my role evolved really into a chief operating officer uh, function for the museum. After OMSI, I left to take over a small nonprofit in Portland, Hoyt Arboretum, as the executive director, where I focused primarily on uh, board development, program development, really rebuilding the organization from the ground up. I was invited to serve in a position with the City of Portland where I oversaw over 120 different nonprofit partners uh, engaged in fundraising on behalf of the city and helped inform public policy around volunteers and uh, partnership development. And that's where I was when uh, the Discovery found me and invited me to come serve as the Executive Director here. So I think I bring a depth and breadth of museum uh, management and experience, organizational development, strong fundraising background, as well as a healthy dose of partnership development and um, fun, hands-on learning experience. The Discovery did a couple things that, that really haven't been done in the museum industry before. Um, first, the speed at which the Discovery got built, you know, from initial idea to, you know, this open operating museum it was really very quick. Uh, a lot of museums will do that in stages and start small and work their way up. We went really from idea to full-blown operations in a short period of time. And that was, that was impressive and appealing to me. More importantly though was the fact that this community saw a need, recognized that need, and went into action to respond to um, a desire to have a hands-on learning science museum in their community and the support that came with it and, and the fundraising and financial support that came to make this dream a reality happen in one of the worst economic scenarios in the country, in, in our history. We have the opportunity for growth. We have the opportunity to work with partners, to work with the school districts, to work with you know, the community at large. And we have the opportunity to grow and expand and provide even more learning experiences here uh, at the Discovery in this museum, but also to take this experience out into our surrounding communities and really be a regional resource and, and attraction and put ourselves on the map nationally. Reno reminds me a lot of Oregon in that there's a lot of the same pioneer spirit, there's a lot of the same uh, friendly people and faces and candor. Uh, the community itself is, is a gorgeous place to live. We're half an hour from Lake Tahoe, a half an hour from skiing. Uh, there's all kinds of outdoor recreational fun, but it, again, uh, it's, a, it's a great tight-knit community. Um, it's, it's not a small town by any means, but it has a small town feel to it, and that's a, that's a refreshing uh, experience to have. The best way that the community can support the discovery is to come here, to visit, to, to come back again and again. You know, uh, the discovery is a unique museum experience because it's something different every time you come. We want people to know that the discovery is a place for everyone and you can take that visitation a step further and become a member. You can support our organization. We're, we're still growing, so we're still asking for the community support and, and our fundraising efforts. There's also the opportunity to get involved through volunteerism. Uh, we have a great volunteer program here. There's lots of different ways that people can engage with visitors, either on the floor or behind the scenes. So 
what we ask is that uh, people come, experience, share their story, and continue to support the discovery. Mm -hmm.